our women are looked at like they're nothing. Well, our women, we're going to be magnified, so our women are going to be magnified, man. You know? Because right now, there's no glory for the so-called black man. There's no glory for the so-called Latin American man. There's no glory for the so-called Native American man. But we're going to have glory, you know? And our glory is our women. So our women are going to be the, sh the shit, so to speak, man. Because our glory is the woman. And if our woman is in order, that's our glory, man. So we don't have no glory on this side because, because our women are not in order, man. So therefore, we have no glory as men in this society. So fuck this society. This uh, America is going to be destroyed, man. And, and the Lord is going to be terrible unto these other nations, man. Yahweh Bashim is going to be terrible to these other nations, man. You know? Uh... Look, it says, uh, let me get, let me get this. This is uh, Lamentations 33. Hold on. Lamentations 33. I'm going to read it real quick. Um, Lamentations, let's see. Shabbat, uh, uh, Lamentations 331. 3 and 31, it says, For the Lord will not cast off forever, yeah, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will not cast off forever. I go for you brothers that, you know, you're coming into this knowledge, you know, and you 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 you, you um you gotta be sincere about this thing, man. You gotta and you gotta be patient. You gotta be sincere and you gotta be patient in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Because it says for the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah will not cast off forever. But that though he caused grief, yeah, though he caused grief which the scriptures talk about um, the chastening. If you you come on the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you're gonna be chastening. And that, that's in the um, that's in the book of Deuteronomy. Every man that comes unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you prepare to get chastening because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh chastening for men. You know, but it's all for your own correction, and you have to take it patiently. But though he caused grief, yet will he have compassion, according to the multitude of his mercies. For he doth not afflict willingly nor grieve the children of men. So, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he just destroyed these um other other um nations, man. He kills them, man. Just like over there in um I Iran, when the, when that the firefighters um died in that building, you know, he uh he just killed them. He just killed them. Hey, but another thing about that is um, they had a national day to uh, uh, parade those men through the streets, you know, and, they, and everybody was out on the street. They don't do that in America, man. America has no values. They have no camaraderie towards their people, man. Those people was out on the streets saluting their, their soldiers. I mean, um, their firemen. Now, you had, in, at 9-11, you had um, men that went into the buildings that didn't make it out, but then you had people... Searching through the buildings looking for the men that didn't make it out of the buildings, those firemen and those other people that didn't make it out of the building. Well, guess what? America won't even give those people the money, you know, because a lot of them caught cancer, breathing them fumes in of those buildings, man. But over there in Iran, they had a parade in the streets for those, for those people over there, man. <laughs> but that... Esau don't care about his people, man. A so-called white man is selfish. He don't even care about his own people, man. You know? So why you why would you so-called why would these so-called Negroes um um love to follow his philosophies or whatever? But I'ma uh find another scripture. Let me see. I wish I had a sword, man. Let me let me go back in the uh this is uh what's back in the wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon six and, and three. No, two. It says, Give ear ye that rule the people and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty. Yeah, the word sovereignty. Yep, yep, let me look up that word. The word sovereignty. Because I wanted to look that word up. Let's do the spirit, man.
bear with me. And these, uh, this thing is really get ready to happen, man. Like, everything that we speak about is really about to happen. And, uh, <clears throat> this thing is gonna be a ride, man. It's gonna be a ride. But, uh, Yao Bashim Yao Sha said he's gonna do what he was gonna do, man. And you have to trust in that. You have to have faith in that, man. Because that's your shield, that's your buckler. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. And you got men out here in Israel, in Israel, well, in Israel, man, teaching men not to believe in the name, or that that name is not not the right name, or whatever they whatever they're teaching. There's some of them teaching the wrong names, or whatever, whatever they're teaching, man. You know, it's per 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 pertaining to the name, man. But the men. Out of great millstone have been taught the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, and that is this is a straight gate, man. When you're dealing with the true living power, this is the straight gate, man. Which means the, the word straight is position of difficulty. This is a position of difficulty, man. You don't know what the hell is gonna happen to you, you know? But you pray to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai daily, man. And the brother, um, the brother in uh, uh the brother Pasha mentioned on his uh GMS walking talk. I mean his GMS travel and, and unravel that uh that that's when uh when you in this thing it's like walking on eggshells, man. It's truth. It's like walking on eggshells. You know, especially you, you, you and, and you know the walking on eggshells part is actually the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Cause you, we got a fear, man. Cause the fear and have faith, man. Cause the Lord at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said He gonna do this thing, man. And he gonna do it. Now, according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, I'm gonna look up on on Adam Online though. When I find it, it says supreme power, especially over body politic. Free from exter free from external control, controlling influence. That's that's the word for sovereignty. But uh, but let me see something. Go to Great Millstone dot info. I go to Great Millstone dot info to to pull up uh, the Bible tools, the tools. Staying on topic though, with the earth, um, with the earth being given in, in the hands of the Lord, the rulers rule in wickedness. Oh um, man, I can't get it. Yeah, the rulers rule in wickedness, and they're gonna be judged for it, <clears throat> and they're gonna be taken out the way, man. And then that's when the when the earth is gonna be, it's good. The earth is gonna be renewed, man. No more of that policy, man. No more money coming out your pockets every week for bills and rent just to live, man. We're gonna live, and we're not gonna have to pay to live, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have become comfortable paying to live, man. Well, we're Israelites. We're 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 the children of Israel, man. They should pay us to live, man. And you, you, these Negroes, man, these so-called Negroes, these Latinos, these Native Americans, man, they're going to learn the hard way. They're going to learn the hard way. That's Satan. That's Satan. What, what is this? Hey, that, 
the Satan is the, you know. And it's truth coming out, man. This word got to come out. This word, the word of Yahweh Bashim al Shah has to come out, man. And 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 Esau is not gonna uh, stop it from coming coming out, man. Cause remember, the earth is given, the earth is the Lord's, man. And He have given it to you, but you can't stop the spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah from coming out. It's it's their time to go down, man. Now it says, horribly and speedily shall He come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them. That be in high places. So the men that be in high places that we don't see. And the ones that we do see. A sharp judgment is going to come unto them. Man. A very sharp judgment. And it's, going, and it's going to take them out man. It says. For mercy will soon pardon the meanest. But mighty men shall be mightily tormented. Mighty men shall be mightily tormented. And the, and the, the, the rock child. The top of least. They're going to be tormented when this thing comes man. They're going to be tormented. They're going to be. It's going to be like. It's going to be likened for them. As a man that goeth. Upon death row. A man that's on death row. You know. But um. With that. I mean the topic of the, this. This started off with the flash card. I'm going to read it again. Which was the Psalm of David in Psalm 124. I mean Psalm 24. Shalak. It says the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. The world. And they that dwell therein. The earth is the Lord's. And the, and the fullness thereof. The world. And they that dwell therein. I'm going to read it again. I'm just going to read it for real. For, it's just. This is a song of David. He used to sing this man. The earth is the Lord's thereof, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, and who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands, and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from Yahweh, from the power of his salvation, which is Yahweh Bashem Shah. It says, This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Salah, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. So, we in this truth... In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, we're looking for the King of Glory. Lift your heads up, brothers, man. Lift your heads up, man. Because he's coming. Yahweh Bashim Yahushah is coming, man. He's coming soon, man. And he's going to destroy this place, man. Because, see, the earth is... is the, the, the men that rule the earth, <laughs> man, they, they've been given the earth to be judged upon the earth as men upon the earth. And we're going to become immortal upon the earth, man. You so-called brothers, man. We, I, I say you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, but the brothers, the true brothers, the true Akiyam in this, in this word, man. We're going to be immortal upon this earth, man. And uh, that's it, you know, for this lesson, man. But, uh. I give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah and the double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that have taught us this word in sincerity and, and faith and the men that believe in sincerity and faith, you know. Shalom to you, Akim.